Ciao, homie. I guess first off, we'll start with you, JF. How are you feeling today? Well, I feel uh, much better, you know. The, the pain is decreasing every day. And uh, I have some good news because I will uh, go to hospital on Friday, uh, meet the, the orthotherapist and uh, start the physio next week, maybe start to move, start to put some weight on the leg, because at the moment I still, I, I have to stay in the bed, you know. I, I can go in wheelchair a little bit and go to toilet only, that's it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad that you have the ability to do that. Do you have, uh, so is someone bringing you food and everything then, or are you still preparing yeah. all your own meals? Yeah, yes, my wife is there uh, every day with me. She's not working right now because she got also shoulder surgery like one month ago. She just <laughs> have one arm, but uh, <laughs> she she can handle that. She's nurse, then she know exactly what I need. Then I'm very lucky and it's much better than the stay in hospital for many days. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it seems like uh, you're getting good news pretty quickly. It isn't that long ago that your injuries happened. So uh, happy to hear that you're you're on the road to recovery. Yeah, yes, I'm really happy too. You know, uh, it's pretty fresh. I just got surgery like two weeks ago. I got surgery like um, Sunday the, in the past two weeks. Uh, it was quick, you know, I get surgery uh, inside 24 hours after my accident. Wow. Then, uh, but you know, it's it will take a long time to bend the knees normally and restart to, to, to walk. But if I can leave this bed in a few, in few weeks, I will be really happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, do you want to get into the details of the injury at all, or should we skip that? Oh, the detail is quite simple. It's the boat uh, uh, knee tendon from the quads. This boat is uh, a section. <laughs> uh, but the, the good news, uh, nothing more is broken. Because uh, when I arrive in hospital in Columbus, they send me, the, maybe the left knee is total destroyed, you know. Because I broke the left one first, like half second before the right one, because, you know, I moved my body weight on the other side, maybe to, to handle the, the, the weight. And I feel the boat broken, but not exactly in the same time. But I still have more pain in, <laughs> in the left leg. Uh, but the good news is just the big tendon broken, then nothing more. And uh, it will be uh, much faster to recover. And I have also uh, anchor strain. It was not broke. It was just strain. But it was very big when I was in hospital. But because I cannot walk, it healed very fast. Now it's, it's like uh, almost perfect. That's fantastic news. That's great. I did notice when you were doing the log press, you were in the dip quite a long time. Was that because you were feeling something already? Or is that just your well, technique? No. Uh, you know, the medical team from Arnold Classic watched the video like hundred times in slow motion and they saw maybe the left uh, foot slip just a little bit and they cause you know the the chain reaction after that it's like you broke your bicep sometimes it's because you slip on the stone or you slip a little bit on the tire is exactly the same thing happened you know i give i try to give the maximum power from the legs to get the the lift and because maybe this little slip i don't know if it's really happened but uh is the only explanation I can give to you. It's just a stupid accident. Yeah. Do you think um, doing the heavy squat the day before may have contributed to that? Did you have any sort of other injury? Maybe that might have built into it or it was no. just a, a of, freak accident. Of course, it's not helping. <laughs> for sure, I don't think <laughs> 900 plus squat will help for recover your knees, you know. But I have no knee pain before the, the log is why is it's, it's why I said it's just a, uh, it was just an accident you know it can happen on many events but of course it was more risk on on the squat than the log you know I never apologize to ex or expecting to to get injured on the knees on the log press you know it's a very special situation but uh, you know the also the sur the surgeon when he he opened both legs and see the tendon and stuff, he said you have a lot of calcification, you know, I have 20 years of strongman training in the body. Also, it's why many guys wrote to me, oh, don't worry, you will recover. Uh, Savikas got both knees broken like this and he recovered from that. Yes, but Savikas was 21 years old, not 39. <laughs> it's not the same situation. And uh, the doctor said it will be maybe fragile after, you know, it's not like brand new knees. Forget it, you know, you cannot came... Uh, 
came in the past, you know, and forget your 20 years older, you know, you train so, so many times, you know, and this uh, mileage is, <laughs> is there. <laughs> mm-hmm. did, they, did they give you an idea of total recovery time? He said one year to just uh, walk normally and do what I need to do. I, I is not talking about doing strongman competition, you know. Uh, we, we'll see what happens uh, after that, but uh, it's needed one year. But the good news, when you have both legs, uh, it will be recovered exactly the same. Because when you broke just one, you compensate a lot with the other legs. Then it's the only positive thing <laughs> to get both legs injured. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, because I because I work in physical therapy, and a lot of the times when I have patients that come in that have hurt both legs at the same time, they actually heal faster because they're using those muscles and they're, they're using the limb that's injured. And so oftentimes, they actually recover more quickly than someone who just came in with one. Um, so, I mean, there are some bright sides. Uh, how, how bright they are could be debatable, I guess. <laughs> true, true. But, you know, uh, I have to deal with that, you know, as a part of the sport. You know, I was really lucky until this moment because, I, okay, I got some muscle tear in the, in the past, but never a serious injury. Then it's the first time I get big surgery for, for an injury in the strongman sport. I never broke a bicep or something, you know. I was really lucky uh, over the years. Then, uh, Sometimes should happen. <laughs> now I, I pass all my day in the bed. <laughs> you know, it's just boring. But uh, I just want to take maybe a few, few, few seconds to just thanks the Arnold organization and Rogue Fitness to uh, help me with, uh, after my accident, I was uh, taken charge very fast at the hospital in Columbus. They also uh, arranged the transportation to send me back home. And I really appreciate it. Then I want to, to thank you, all the team, you know, and many, many of them continue to take some news uh, of me. And uh, of course, uh, Jan Todd was there like a mother for me. You know, she came to hospital every day. Uh, I think she was more nervous for me than me, myself, <laughs> you know, when I go to, to surgery. But uh, I remember when I came out from surgery, Jan was there with my friend uh, Simon. I was uh, very emotional when I see them. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Thank you.